What's up guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to mine XRP, uh, also known as Ripple, on uh, Windows 10 using Unminable Miner. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to head over to Google and search up Unminable Miner and click the first link. Uh, first link should take you to the downloads page, uh, but if it doesn't, just head over to the top and you'll see download in the bar. Uh, click that. And then you have two options. Um, we're going to stick with this one today, but if you uh, are familiar with this and you have your own miner, you can click. Uh, you can download this option, uh, but this one already has one in it, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to download it. Uh, then we're going to head over to our... Um, sorry. Uh, close that. And we're going to head over to our downloads folder. And we're going to extract it. Once it's extracted, it's right here as an application. You can move this anywhere you want and uh, put it in program files or whatnot. I'm just going to leave it here for now for the video. Then I'm going to open it up. Um, and then this is where it varies from other um, cryptocurrencies. Uh, this is important that you follow their rules and regulations. Um, so first, before we do this, um, graphics card or CPU, I'm going to use CPU today. You're going to get less hash rate than a graphics card, but, uh, if you have a graphics card, you can use it. You would get more hash rate, more profit. Um, but I'm going to use a CPU. Um, then we're going to go down and find XRP. I believe it is at the bottom. There we go. Ripple XRP. Uh, and then this is the complicated part. So, or not complicated, but it varies from different coins. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to get my wallet address. So I'm going to pull this up. So this is my wallet address here. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste it here. Uh, and then if you look, you're going to have to have, um, a payment tag. So the way you format that is in your wallet. I use crypto.com. You can use whatever wallet you want, your opinion. They all have different features, but uh, I use crypto.com and in that wallet, it gives me my address as well as a uh, destination tag or payment tag. Um, and the way they want you to format it here is that you put a colon and then you put your tag after it. So that's one of the, um, restrictions they have and then the other one is that um you need to have 20 xrp in that wallet before you transfer anything uh into that wallet from the mining uh, so make sure if you are going to mine xrp that you follow both of these uh rules and you should be good and then you have a referral code um i i will put mine in the link in the description i uh, appreciate it if you use it uh, it will reduce your fee from 1% to 0.75, so that will be helpful. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave it in the link in the description if you want to use it. Uh, and then we're good to start mining. So press start down there. Uh, so at the top, you'll see your balance. I haven't mined XRP before, but uh, it will start mining. Um, so that's my balance. And then below that is your hash rate. So uh, it will take about 15 minutes to show up uh, for your first time, and then after that, it will happen pretty fast. Um, yeah, and then in settings, you can set it to low power or high power or custom. I recommend if you are using your computer on a daily to mine uh, or and do other things, I would say put it on low. Otherwise, if your computer is on idle most of the time, I would put it on high. And you'll get the most profitability out of it uh, and if you're more familiar with everything i would go with a custom setting to get uh, customized to whatever you want it to do um, then you can also name your worker so when you if you have multiple workers it's easier to know which uh, worker it is on their website and stats so we're going to exit out of this and then i'll quickly show you uh, when you click stats what it shows on the website um, Currently, I don't think it will really show anything just because it's time. It's my first time mining XRP. It won't show, but uh, in general, your workers will show down here, 
uh, and then your balance up here. Uh, you can also choose when to get paid. Um, uh, the 10 is the threshold, so anything after 10 you can manually pay out or you can um, automatically get paid when you hit 10 and XRP. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I would just focus on making sure you have the memo and the address properly, otherwise you won't get paid. Uh, it'll be a waste of time. And make sure you have 20 XRP in your wallet before you mine. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it in the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, if you could leave a like, that would be much appreciated. And again, I'll leave my referral link in the description below if you want to use it to lower your fees. Alright guys, peace.